A first-time champion will be crowned today at Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Texas. As Sam Houston faces South Dakota State, the top seed Jackrabbits making their first trip to the title game. It's about a three-hour trip for the folks from Huntsville, Texas at Sam Houston. A lot further from Brookings, South Dakota, but they wouldn't miss this for the world as we welcome you to the 2021 FCS Championship Game. Sam Houston won the toss and deferred, so it will kick off from the 35. Wind is right to left. That'll be a factor with the rain. And here's Isaiah Davis running it out. He's got a lane across the 25-yard line and then finally wrapped up at the 37. After a three-yard run on first down, Pierre Strong motioning out of the backfield. Gronowski facing a little pressure, dumps it off for a first down past midfield, and what a hit! Jackson Yonke runs over the defender at the 45-yard line, moving the chains into Sam Houston territory. The helmet. Something quick here. Going to be a handoff to Davis. Breaks a tackle inside the 15, inside the 5, heading for the pylon. And out of bounds at the one-yard line. It'll be first and goal for South Dakota State. Full-line defense on the field. Davis again pushing forward and in. Touchdown, South Dakota State strikes first in the championship game. Yes, championship game. Third down and two. Schmidt moving to his left. His pass off target and then a huge hit. Gales lighting up the receiver, Adey. And it's fourth down, and they'll have to punt. And Gales is the other corner opposite Ton Gardner. But here, you get a running start. Receiver's not, unable to locate you. He can't protect himself. And far hash mark. Snap is bad, ball's on the ground, picked up by Fromm, and taken down at the 30-yard line. Good. Form tackled by Isaiah Downs, coming off the edge and disrupting things. Snap is the problem. Isaiah Downs right there to make one heck of an effort for Sam Houston. The punter here, but I'm going to get this one. They don't dinkle with a pretty good punt, but good right punt. at Ezard, here he goes. Across the 45, breaks free at the 40, right on cue, inside the 20, heading for the pylon. He's in again, touchdown Ezard. Penalty flag is down though, back at midfield. Might this come back? What a weapon Ezard has been this year. But I think it's coming back after a 63-yard punt return for a touchdown. He had an 80-yarder last week. Illegal block in the back. Number 50 of the return team. Going to be a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. The period will be extended for one on time down. Yes. Second down and six. Jefferson finds a running lane at the 40 and down to the 35-yard line. It's a 17-yard gain for Ramon Jefferson in this thing. Wide receiver screened. Ezard gets a block inside the 25 on the cutback. Ezard still going inside the 15. Inside the five into the end zone. Jaquez Ezard touchdown. All it takes is one missed tackle. And this guy will make you pay. Excellent with the ball in his hands. He is flat out electric. A nice unselfish block by Adeyi. That frees up Ezard. And then just relax and watch the man work. So one touchdown called back. Now he, he lost the ball. Ooh. Boy, it got punched out. I, I still think he crossed the plane. We'll see if they look at this. Yeah, snap it if you're Sam Houston. They did, and the extra point is good. Overturn it. Cameron Hearn kicking off here. Here's Isaiah Davis for South Dakota State. Past the 25. 
And up past the 40 before he's taken down, but an excellent return by the true freshman. Long did Isaiah Davis. All right, we're being told that we have had lightning in the area. That's why the whistle just blew and we have a stoppage of play with 825 to go in the second quarter. It's actually not raining as much right now as it was earlier. It was really significant at the start of the game. There has been a detected lightning strike. We're going to have the teams clear the field. So when there is lightning within eight miles, they stop play for 30 minutes. If there's another sighting within that time frame, the clock of 30 minutes restarts. So we're going to step aside with 8.25 to go in the second quarter. A lightning delay here in Frisco. Fix. Strong able to break a tackle, but that's it. He broke a tackle on the first guy, but down he goes back at the 26, a three-yard loss. And now you got to worry about the kicking game. They will try a field goal here with Cole Fromm on fourth and long. And the year is 52. Not raining now. But obviously, the field's still a little bit wet. Had an issue with snap so far. That one was good, but the kick is low and has no shot. So that's twice now on field goal tries. There have been an issue in the kicking game for South Dakota State and remains 7 7. They clock down to five. There ain't four minutes to go in the game clock. Pressure coming off the edge. Schmidt gets rid of the pass, and it's caught at the 40 yard line for a first down by Adey. So a gain on the play of about 30. 127 counting. Schmidt to the air. Fires to the end zone. Two in the first half for Jaquez Ezzard. 11 minute lightning delay. Heidi from the pocket in trouble gets hit. Gets rid of the pass to Pierre Strong who's out of bounds. And then some contact late. Will they throw a flag? It looked like incidental contact to me. Didn't look like anything intentional or fierce by Trevor Williams. So no penalty marker on the play. It would not have been tipped and it would have just been intercepted. Yeah. Maybe run back. Here's Heidi get hit again. Ball flutters and this one is picked off by Quentin Brown. It'll be Sam Houston ball with 18 seconds left in the first half at midfield. Average. This is a passing situation here though. Third and 11. Heidi has a completion and a first down to the 30 yard line for Zach Hines. A defender in coverage slipped and fell, and that helped Hines get open. And it was Trevor Williams. The pistol it will be Davis, and he gets the first down, pushes the pile down to the 45, and still going. They can't get this guy to the ground. They finally stop forward progress at the 41-yard line. On the 33-yard line, here comes a reverse and a flea flicker. Schmidt slips, though. Ball flutters. It's still caught by Ezard at the 25. And Ezard makes something out of it. Ooh. Out to the 35 yard line. Schmidt is lucky that ball wasn't intercepted. I, I think Ezard is hurt again. A makeover. Schmidt rolling to his left on third and three. And the pass is on target. First down inside the 40 yard line. A day with the grab. But what a throw that time by Eric Schmidt. 2018 transfer then to Sam Houston. Schmid to throw it here, taking a shot, single coverage. Oh, what a catch with one hand, and then the ball came out. It came out at the last second. Ezard could not pull it down. That would have been one of the greatest catches we've seen this postseason. Don Gardner had coverage, and it's third down and seven. That might have put the icing on the cake, but it's just good on good. Don Gardner has followed Ezard everywhere he has gone today. Play clock winding down, 45-yard try. Ball is down, and the kick is good. How about that? Seth Morgan, true freshman, career long. 45 yards in the title game to push it to a 10-point lead. They're back in the 70s. A lot of running room for Davis. First down and more inside the 30-yard line, and he can't keep his balance, otherwise he scores. As it is, he gains about 27 down to the 23-yard line. First down and 15. And a 
keep it on the ground here with Davis. He's got running room off the left side. Breaks a tackle inside the 10-yard line. Keeps his feet and is into the end zone. Touchdown, South Dakota State. What a run by Isaiah Davis. That's just, it's just pure will, Dave. Schmidt, pump fake, looking for a double move, and Ezard up high it down at the 35 yard line it doesn't matter what you do defensively against this guy he can't be stopped well, the pay, they didn't even need to pump fake because the defensive back Malik Lofton well no it's sure who it's, yeah, excuse Gales. Me, Sean Gales yeah. over there but he was so far off and respecting Ezard that he couldn't even get himself back into the screen and into the plate they rush four. Schmid in trouble. Gets out of there. A flag down. Schmid looking deep. Throwing it into the end zone where it's caught for a touchdown. Harvin pulls it in. Will it come back though? Schmid, meanwhile, is hurt. Yeah, he's down again, Dave. And it's that he's reaching for the right Holding angle. Offense number 51. And now penalty for three third down. So Jalen North commits a holding call. Isaiah Davis, who's got two rushing touchdowns, will get the carry here on second and ten, and he's got some room. Breaks another tackle at the 30-yard line, still going at the 40. Davis into Sam Houston territory, breaks another tackle down the sideline. The race is on. They won't get him. Touchdown. South Dakota State has the lead. 85 yards. Isaiah Davis. And he Derek Henry somebody on the way to the end zone. I mean, just a stiff arm to get a defender off me. Get off of me. It may have been Braden Clopton who was the recipient of that, that stiff arm. What a run. Through freshman Isaiah Davis. Absolutely floored Clopton that time as he took it to the house to give the Jackrabbits the lead with 5.41 to go. Hate Noah Smith in the game at running back. A dual threat as a pass catcher and a runner. And that's where the ball was going. Smith being chased, breaks the tackle. Smith at the 35, takes a shot, dives out of bounds. We'll see where they spot him. Close, but it's not going to be enough. And so I think if you're Casey Keeler, you're going to have to go for it here on fourth down. Schmidt's going to keep a beautiful call. He gets the first down. And out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Great yes. fake by Eric Schmid. Running back. Third and eight. Schmid the throw. In trouble. Moves to his right. Going to keep it here. Inside the 20. Goes high up into the air. And out of bounds. Short of the line to gain by about three yards. And they say that he's in bounds. So the clock is moving. Sam Houston can stop the clock and will with its final timeout with 38 seconds to go. It is. This is what you work for. Into the backfield here. Schmid throws. Ezard slipped and he still caught it for a first down at the 10 yard it's line. Clock it. We've got to clock it right now. Clock stops to move the chains. Goal with 21 seconds left. Play clock down to five. Schmid back to throw. Fires over the middle. And it is caught. It's a touchdown. A D pulls it in. And Sam Houston has the lead with 16 seconds left. They, they work the edges of the defense all game long. And sooner or later, a slant, some in-cut route was going to present itself. They waited till the, the most important time in the game to go to Adeyi or Ezard to play before, but it was right over the middle of the field. And, hey, that's drilling one right there. Stepping into a throw, that's all you got. And he's accurate with it. Excellent throw and a nice catch on the back end to give Sam Houston a lead here with not much time left, just 16 seconds. That's what they're going to do. No, it's another pitch. Yonke, and now you got to run it out. Yonke's got to go. He's tackled. Sam Houston wins it. The Bearcats capture their first FCS championship.